Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a senior consultant surgical oncologist here at Helios Cancer Center. So what is the surgery done for ovarian cancers? Let me just walk through what type of surgery is done. Now if there is any cancer where surgery makes a big difference to the outcome, it is ovarian cancer. What is the surgery that is performed? Normally, the tumor is, it depends on what stage the ovarian cancer is. But the basic principle is to remove all the disease in the abdomen, a procedure we call as cytoreductive surgery. If we see stage 1 or 2 ovarian cancer, which is limited to the ovary, we of course remove the ovary, the uterus, the opposite ovary. Then apart from this, we remove the lymph nodes in the abdomen and we remove the fat in the abdomen, what we call as omentum, and we take biopsies from various parts of the peritoneum. So this is the surgery done for cancer which is just limited to the ovary and has not spread outside. Here the surgery may be relatively simpler. But what about the more advanced cases? So when we come to stage 3 ovarian cancer, the cancer apart from the ovary would have spread to quite a few areas in the abdomen. It may have spread to the small intestine on the mesentery of the small bowel. It may have spread on the surface of the liver or the spleen. It may have to spread to the lymph nodes in the retroperitoneum. Here the surgery is more challenging. Now, as a surgical oncologist, what we have to do is to see whether it is possible to safely remove all the disease in the abdomen. This, of course, involves removal of the ovary and the uterus. But apart from this, there may be many other things that we have to do to remove the entire disease. Sometimes the tumor is found on the small intestine and we may have to cut and join portions of the small intestine. When it is on the surface of the liver, we may have to scrape it off the surface of the liver, what we call as capsulectomy. Sometimes we may have to remove another organ known as the spleen we may have to remove the peritoneum over the surface of the diaphragms. So the surgery is going to be much more extensive. At the end of it, it is worth doing all this, this thing because if we achieve what we call as optimal cytoreduction, that is removal of all visible disease from the abdomen, you have given the best possible chance of cure to the patient. So the surgeon should be patient. It's a long surgery. It will take time and it has to be done with a lot of uh, patients and everything wherever the disease is there that has to be, attempt has, be, has to be made to remove it. Maybe in certain areas where removal is not possible, say near the bile duct and other such areas, it may be more difficult and sometimes it may not be possible to remove the disease. But by and large, the attempt from the surgical side surgeon's side should be to remove all possible disease in the abdomen. <clears throat> Apart from this, there is an upcoming treatment which is called as HIPEC or hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. So here after doing this cytoreductive surgery, the chemotherapy is circulated in the entire abdomen. The principle here being that the chemotherapy which we give through the blood may not reach in sufficient concentrations to the peritoneum. So the chemotherapy is directly installed in the abdomen at the time of surgery. This of course makes the procedure much more bigger. The procedure of HIPEC is a little controversial and it may not be possible that all surgeons will not agree that this is a useful procedure. There is some uh, trials which have given results in favor of HIPEC Whereas we are waiting for more trial results to come before declaring it as the standard of care. The complications of HIPEC are also something to be kept in mind before undergoing this procedure. So this is how surgery is done for ovarian cancer. Thank you.